Hello, welcome back to the channel, and today's video is going to be learning how to import external programs from external Python files into your main program in Python. This is a super useful concept because in a lot of larger Python programs, you're going to grab something from Stack Overflow or GitHub um, or even just something you programmed in the past and you don't want every program and subroutine that you're going to call in your function to be in the main program. So in this case, I have two functions, uh, two Python files already created in my directory. Um, you don't need to copy these exact ones down. I just have two to show um, how it works. I have useless programs, which is just a function I called spam random numbers that's going to print a bunch of randomly generated integers. Um, and then I have uh, useful functions. Oops. I have useful functions, which is going to useful programs, which is going to uh, either do compound interest or print high uh, with a name you give it onto the screen what I have in these other files doesn't really matter it's just so I have something to reference from my main but let's get started on the actual code you need to write so if you're familiar with like importing modules like if you were going to use randomly generated stuff you would do this import random if you were building a game like in Pygame you would import Pygame well this is pretty easy uh, you just do import and then the name of your file and um, as long as it's a .py file and in the same directory um, it can actually find that file just by you start typing in the name. So then um, we're going to just do import useless programs, useful programs, just like that. Uh, and then I like to typically alias them. So uh, like we just brought in useful programs, but I don't want every time I call a program from that file, I don't want to have to type in the whole name. So I'll just call it good, which you're you're creating an alias variable just saying this variable is equal to this other thing. But now anytime I want to use it inside this program, I can just type good or bad instead of useless and useful. Um, so that's pretty handy. And this actually is all you need to do to now be able to call functions from those other programs. So uh, one of the ones we had in the good function was say hi. And actually something I want to highlight here, when you type in good dot, the, the functions are going to show up with an F. It depends on what um, development environment you're using, but most of them, the functions in that uh, program file will show up here. And so you can see I have say hi, but another really useful thing is it'll tell you in the parentheses what variables it's expecting. And so hopefully a well-written program, the variable names are descriptive enough that uh, you can actually infer what you need to give it. So here it says name, you can see we need to give it a name, and let's do that. Now, you can see in my function right here, in my f Python file right here, I haven't created the say hi function, I'm just calling good, which if we trace it back is in useful programs, and you can see all it's gonna do is print hi and whatever name we give it onto the screen. So let's go ahead and run this, and we see it just says hi Pete onto the screen. So. Um, right there that's the the basics of it uh, if you just came here needing that exact um, little piece then you're probably good to go I'll just flesh out a few other things here um, uh, on this video so the next thing I want to do is um, like the compound interest function which actually has inputs and outputs in it so you can see all you need to do to run the compound interest calculation is just call it because all the variables are gathered as inputs inside of this function and it's just going to give you back a total so in theory all we want to do is just print out the compound interest function like we just want to run it and then it's going to give us the total so let's go ahead and um, just take a look and see let's say initial amount it doesn't really matter 10,000 interest rate 10 20 years calculation and it compounds daily um, okay, so the reason I wanted to run that is you can see uh, we called a function that gets inputs and dis uh, returns outputs all externally, and uh, that's pretty cool. We got that right there, but this value obviously is not useful for numerical uh, values. You can still do things like um, 
like rounding to your external functions just like you could if they were written here so you can use the round function to say when we do return it I want just two decimal points um, and so we'll run that again and while I'm here I'll just throw in one from the bad to show um, we can do uh, we'll just do four random numbers as well so you can um, do this for as many external Python files as you need. So if you had one that was a bunch of useful uh, math equations you'd set up, one that was a bunch of graphical things like drawing buttons or whatever, you would just have like a library at the start of your function, um, at the start of your program, that's just all of your import statements. And then if you decide to alias them, all of your alias statements. So let's go ahead and run that. Um, and we're going to see the same initial amount, 7% uh, interest rate, 20 years, and uh, it compounds monthly, so at 12. Okay, so now you can see we got a rounded ver value for the compound interest because we did that rounding here. And then uh, we got four random numbers because that's my useless program. So this was just intended to show kind of how you would use functions that are defined in external Python files inside of your uh, file. Hopefully you found it useful. I'll try to keep this one short and simple. Um, if there's anything else you want to see or need help with, just let me know about it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if there's anything you want to see in a future video, be sure to let me know about that in the comments below. If you did find it useful, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.